Hi, Ginger Garner here. I'm a physical therapist, a licensed athletic trainer. I am also board certified in lifestyle medicine. I have my doctorate in physical therapy. And for 20 years, I have been focusing on the institute I founded, Living Well, where I teach integrative lifestyle medicine and medical therapeutic yoga. I did write uh, the book on medical therapeutic yoga. It was published in 2016, and I'm excited because now it's slated for its fourth foreign translation. Uh, the first one was Italian, and there's more to come. So I'm excited about that. But that's kind of who I am during the day. But uh, who am I otherwise? Well, I'm a mom of three, which also means I love my clinical practice areas of prenatal, postpartum, and hip, di hip and pelvis differential diagnosis and, and integrative management. Love that to death. Uh, that definitely drives what I do um, every day. I also, uh, being surrounded by a bunch of boys, needed a little feminine in my life. So uh, our family adopted a rescue Labrador who we named Scout Finch several years ago, and she is uh, a dreamboat dog. She's fantastic. I also made the crazy decision to, after 21 years of beach living, move to the mountainous region of North Carolina. So I'm shaking things up a little bit there. And also, I guess one more fact about me is I adore music. I think it's how we learn. It's how we create. Art is how we learn and, and are innovative. And I believe that the profession, my profession of physical therapy and of athletic training um, is both an art and a science. And I think music enables us in so many ways, as do other art forms, to be better at what we do and more passionate about it. How do you stay healthy? Well, I think it's important to note that I think fitness and wellness is so important that I've dedicated my life to it. Got a bunch of degrees and stuff on the resume that shows I believe it's important. So what do I do to show others and to teach others and to teach my own children that fitness and wellness is important and that health is more than an absence of disease? Well, the short story is I get plenty of sleep. That really comes first. If I don't do that, everything else crumbles. I make sure I manage my stress. So mindful movement and just enough, but not too much physical activity is important. So of course I'm gonna do things like yoga and Pilates and I use medical therapeutic yoga to kind of deliver that mindful movement. Um, I also want to schedule in and I do schedule it. That's kind of a key phrase here is scheduling is important. I schedule in playtime with my family and the only thing I don't do in moderation, I think, uh, to, to keep myself healthy is loads of music and a lot of gratitude. What's your guilty pleasure? It's easy for me. Mine is quite easy. Um, music and books. You can never have too many books. So if you're a fellow book buyer out there and you've got 10 books waiting to read, I'm right there with you. I get it. I can't get enough of either of those things, music and books. And if I can get my read on or my music on in nature, ooh, that's even better. Um, that's as good as a great glass of wine or whiskey or the finest dark chocolate that's out there. Now those aren't too shabby either. So that, uh, or I could say those are my guilty pleasures. What's yours? What was the first time I fell in love with physical therapy? And I know that right off the top of my head, instant. I fell in love with PT, truly. Um, when I found the courage to break away from the status quo that was suffocating me. And I could truly say I was entering into a realm of being an integrative PT. Before that, I was burned out. I was disenchanted by the profession. I thought about quitting because it was all based in sick care, fixing things after they were broken, not looking at the individual as a whole. So after I stopped and I had the courage to stop making fear-based decisions about my career and the career in life that I wanted, I found freedom and true love for my career in PT. And the best thing I can say about that is now I don't have two existences, the work ginger and the self-care, you know, fun ginger. 
I get to do both things at the same time. What is an interesting fact about me? Well, some of you may know this already, but many of you may not. I moonlighted as a jazz musician for nearly two decades. Totally stumbled on it. I don't have time to tell you the whole story, but if I see you in person, I'll tell you. I stopped doing it. I stopped moonlighting as a jazz musician when I needed to start start my doctorate. I also accepted, uh, signed a contract for writing medical therapeutic yoga, my first book at the same time. And my third child was one year old. I had three boys uh, at the time, still do, uh, much older now, but my third child was one. I figured I'd have enough to keep me busy for a little while and music is what I had to say no to, but uh, now I've returned to dabbling in jazz and have through the years since uh, finishing uh, my book and doctorate several years ago now, have added classical music to that realm of performance and it keeps me focused it keeps me alive. So that's one little interesting tidbit about me. Hey, thank you for listening to my interesting facts and rants about uh, who I am and how I fell in love with PT and my guilty pleasures and and all of that stuff. Uh, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thanks for holding space for us to, you know, get to know each other and reach out and build a community that we can be proud of. Um, One that we work hard, but we also play hard in. I invite you to tune in to my webinar on October the 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Introduction to Medical Therapeutic Yoga. I really hope to see you there. Bye-bye.